Awaken ye who's... Let's get this started! Get started. What the hell is this supposed to be? One of those gates? Yo, Yamatoga! Out with it! Not worth the effort, honestly. Just hop on and you'll see soon enough. Don't be like that, Yamatoga. There's a lot we don't get about this place. Like trees that turn into crystals and... Crystals that float in the sky. Trees turned into crystals? No, no, it's the other way around. Huh? No way! You are aware of natural laws, yes? These differ from planet to planet. For example, there may be a world where storks do bring offspring. Different natural laws, huh? Though there is one thing common to them all. Death. The other way around, Yamatoga said. That just might be the answer to everything in this place. That tree didn't become a crystal. A crystal became a tree. If inanimate objects like crystals can beget life, that'd certainly make the laws of this planet way different from those of Earth. You, we can worry about the details later. Time to see where this thing goes. Whoa! Tagachi, you actually listen to what Kanata says, don't you? Togachi? Who are you calling Togachi, girl? Who are you calling girl, Togachi? Koaru, you want to get left behind?
What is it? Something on your mind? So, uh, it's just you? Yep. Five of us total, huh? Were you the ones behind the laser signal? No, it wasn't us. I guess it wasn't you either? Nope, not me. Then it's safe to assume that there's one other person out there somewhere. Sweet. Safety in numbers, right? <laughs> you sure about that? Don't be so certain that everyone's a good guy. Well, yeah, true, but still. I wasn't trying to be funny. What's your name? Tokahisa Kiria. Call me Kyria. I'm, uh, not exactly a good guy. Oh, you guys hungry? Well, that's nice of you. I don't think you're as horrible as you say. I'm just self-aware enough to know I'd never survive on my own. Anyway, you guys have any idea what this place is? At first, we were thinking it was the afterlife, or something like it. If that's the case, then we're all in hell. <laughs> Thankfully, no. We're guessing it's a planet with advanced technology. Really? Mm, hey, got any salt? I make my dishes to bring out the natural flavors of the ingredients. Ask Amatsume for some when you see her. Huh? What the hell? That voice! Oh, him? It's a long story. I'll explain everything along the way. Okay...
What is it, Kohara? I just realized that if I don't have anything salty or sour, or even mild and sweet, life isn't worth living. It just doesn't work. Of all the things to bitch about. But there are sweet things here, like these berries, see? Nom, nom. Mmm, so sweet and yummy. <laughs> All you need now is a minimum calorie intake in order to stay active. It is literally impossible for you to starve. Why care about flavor now? That isn't the problem here. Mm. Truly a high-maintenance creature. Hey, Tagachi, you said I could ask Amatsume when we meet her, right? Yes, with her powers, conjuring up condiments is child's play. Is that a fact? Back then? We were all under a hazy, misguided impression that, as long as we could reach the person named Amatsume, she would fix everything. But reality is always harsher than you think. Nothing ever goes as well as you hope it might. In the end, praying to a god in some faraway heaven is nothing but a one-way street. you off guard, didn't it? Holy crap. Seriously, was that honest to God teleportation? Close enough. The air of this place is different from the other places we've been. Yeah, definitely feels like this is the right place. Long time no see. You look like you can barely talk. How much of your power did you burn bringing us all the way from Earth? Yamatoga, you've changed a great deal in the short time you've been away. You seem far more serene than you used to be. I haven't much choice in this state, do I? You look rather feeble yourself. Perhaps, like you, it could not be avoided. And who do you think is happiest to see us in this pitiful state? The Chasseur, of course. The Chasseur? Chasseur. They're the monsters that attacked you. Chasseur are hunters. They wander the universe hunting and devouring souls. I protected this world against them for years. 
then Yamatoga betrayed me. With great effort, I split his soul into twelve parts and scattered them. You thought I was gone for good, didn't you? Sorry to disappoint. My true self was contained in my right arm at the time. I thought I could reform if I got all my pieces in one place, but alas. And that one place was Earth? Had he been left to his own devices, he would have caused great damage. As an emergency measure, I made use of this planet's core mainframe. The radium system, to immediately draw his pieces back here. But the pieces of Yamatoga's soul had already become a part of us. So when you brought him here, you had to bring us along too, right? Correct. That was the only option at the time. Why just scatter him, though? Why didn't you just kill him instead? Look, if you'd done that, none of us would have been dragged into this mess. Kill me? Have you already forgotten everything I told you? We don't care about your personal problems. Send us back home, now! You brought us here, right? That means you can send us back! Not going to happen. While possible, there are a number of things that make it unadvisable. Such as... There are two basic issues. One is that I do not have the power required to use the radium system. The other is that Yamatoga must remain confined at all costs. As pieces of his soul are fused with you, I cannot allow you to leave. You can't allow us? You did this to us in the first place! Amatsume, stop stalling and just get to the heart of the matter already. On death, all souls traverse time and space to other planets to be reborn. It's a fundamental aspect of how the universe works. The radium system is a technology capable of reaching into space-time and controlling the astral filament, the path departed souls travel. We are light years from Earth. There's no way to get back there physically. And only the dead can use the astral filament to travel space and time. All Amatsume did was collect my soul and its attendant data, you. Now, do you see how impossible doing what you're asking is? And Kanata and Koharu have already enjoyed the blessings of my power. Blessings? You mean immortality? Exactly. You can't die. Meaning you can't use the filament to get back. And anyway, your previous lives are over. Going back would be pointless. We can't go home? No effing way! What was that? Did you hear something? Yeah. Something wicked this way comes. It seems variants have arrived. There are no chasseurs that I can detect. Will they be able to get at us here? Probably not, but we should go to them anyway. Come again? Why should we willingly put ourselves in danger? 
So, you're not particularly interested in saving more of your kind, then? What? Let's get moving. They may need our help. One last thing, children of Earth. As you have so far, you will need to continue to rely on Yamatoga's power. However, please do not forget his ultimate goal. And that is to gather his fragmented soul and be made whole once more. Do not allow him to sway you. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Did you expect me to deny it? But you, Amatsume, sacrificed them all to preserve the status quo here. Are you actually telling them to trust you with a straight face? What does humans want? Yamatoga's no longer ulterior motives. Amatsume's big picture decision. And the Shasur. Dangerous hunters who want all of us dead or worse. All completely separate things with no common ground to speak of, and no obvious way to change that. Honestly, we didn't really know if it could be changed. <laughs>